Kita kena <laughs> tu GoPro. <laughs> GoPro tak elok, bising. Oh. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Eh, hey, kalau tersasun macam ni, aduh. Tersasun. Ha, eh. uh, jalan oh, je. Jok, jok. <laughs> eh, jok, 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 jok. <laughs> Today we'll be presenting about domestic operation Northwest Airways. So today our group will be presentation about the difference of ATR-72 and A320. Next. So this is uh, our organization chart. So the CEO is Muhammad Zul Maniku Zaid and the Chief Operation Officer is me, Haslim Safrani Abdul Halim. And the power plan is Muhammad Hafiz. Configuration is Muhammad Kashaf. Root planer is Muhammad Izzas and the capacity management is Nur Atika. Next. So this is uh, our chosen air flight. We will differentiate between these two types of aircraft which is ATR-72 and A320. Next. So this is the spec comparison between both of the two air flights. So the dimension of ATR-72 is 27.2 compared to A320 is 37.57 and the wingspan is 27 for A322 is 35.80 the height is 7.6 and A320 is 11.76 so this is the performance the maximum takeoff weight A320 have more weight compared to ATR which is 70, 79,000 and the maximum landing weight is 66,000 compared to ATR which is uh, 21,850 so next is the range maximum speed and takeoff basically A320 consists higher than the ATR 72 and now we're going to the cabin. We choose A322 because it can uh, take more capacity of the passenger and more cabin width. Okay, next. All right. Um, so uh, we have done is the technical presentation so i'm going to conclude that while we choose the a320 new then atr 72 okay as we can see uh, in the technical sheet the cabin of atr 72 are smaller and compact and a320 new is a bit larger so it can accommodate more passenger at one time and then uh, we can use the A320 uh, to do the long haul and we cannot do it with the ATR72. And then uh, the, the major difference uh, in their engine, which ATR is using the turboprop while A320 is using the turbofan. So the turboprop uh, has a disadvantage which uh, it quite, quite noisy and you can hear the sound of the engine inside the cabin and the turbo fan uh, has more efficiency because it has the highest bypass A ratio to be compared with the ATR72 and then uh, we are uh, operate in Kuala Lumpur Airport so basically we have a long uh, runway so it doesn't matter to operate the A320 because uh, even it's need a long runway so we have it in Kuala Lumpur Airport okay 
and then uh, we can use the aircraft to fly in high altitude which when we fly in high altitude it will effect on the fuel consumption which it could be more efficient than flying at lower altitude okay and then uh, even though the maintenance are cheaper on the ATR-72 but the benefits are more on A32 Neo so that's why we choose this uh, flight I mean the aircraft to be our our flight okay so this is why we choose A320 first it's a narrow body airline design and then uh, Beside the performance and all those kind of benefit, the airframe is include a composite material and aluminium to save the weight and reduce the total number of parts so to decrease the maintenance cost. So basically, we not only uh, maximize the usage but we try to minimize and reduce the uh, cost for maintenance. And then, uh, of course, when the aircraft is lightweight it will use uh, less fuel consumption All right so i'll pass to my friends for root network hello one hour later two hours later Three hours later. Uh, so this is the info that we have. Rules of network. So our routes will be like A to Penang. Our main hub is in the Kuala Lumpur Station Airport. <laughs> Semuanya alhamdulillah berjalan lancar. Eh lancar pula. Eh seri seri. Tak apa. Kau terus je nanti aku edit. Ha. Rules of network. Our rules will be KLA to P9. So our main hub is Kuala Lumpur International Airport which is KLA. The distance flight routes from KLA to P9 Airport uh, around 332 km. The flight duration is 52 minutes and flight frequency is up to 5 times per day. <laughs> The importance of hub and routes. Hub are used by one or more airlines to concentrate passenger traffic and flight operation at a given airport. We use KLA as our airport, which means the hub is provided by the KLA to our airline. Hub is served as to transfer point to point to the passenger to their destination. We use KLA and Penang Airport, meaning that we start from the KLA and get the passenger to Penang Airport. Route is designated routes for aircraft flying between ground to ground. For our case, we start from KLA to <coughs> Penang Airport. Routes has its own minimum altitude for aircraft to fly. Normally, the hub is located at a place that is very strategic, which can be reached by anyone who are going to the airport. The attraction of the state itself will give the interesting point for every airway to come to the state. To connect the hub to hub, route is used in order to reach every destination. Okay, for... A320, we choose person, uh, passenger type uh, because it is uh, suitable. So, all type of passenger are suitable if they want to travel from north to west or west to north. So, this is because uh, it's very convenient for them to travel to their destination in a short time if they are going for business. Also, students can travel to their hometown safely in short time and in comfort condition. So, as Penang and Selangor have many sources of income, many people when uh, many people want to travel across these two states. It can be for anyone to fly between this state to do their own business. Okay, configuration of A320. It is a narrow body design. It's required to fly crew and for cabin attendant. Uh, it is also provide 150 seats with uh, arrangement of seats, 3 left and uh, 3 for the right side. Okay, next is the comparison with ATR-72. ATR-72 has twin engine turboprop, 
Ui, salah salah. <laughs> okay, next is comparison with ATR seventy two. ATR seventy two has twin engine turbo prop. It has two cabin crew needed only. It can also fit in seventy eight passenger economy class. And the arrangement of the seat is two two. Okay, A320 CFM56. Uh, the thrust range between 82 to 150 kN. It bypass ratio is 5.9 to 6.6. 6. 100% RPM is 40,460 horsepower. The reliability approaching 100% along with unrevealed time on wing <coughs> without removal for servicing. The advantage of CFM56 is to help significantly reduce operating costs. Alright, so next, uh, ATR72 PW100. So this one, the thrust produced is 3412 uh, kN of uh, power. And uh, the power to ratio is 3 by 44 by 1. Maximum RPM is 1846 horsepower. Reliability is because using reverse flow combustor significant reduction in the overall length of the compressor turbine. Next. <coughs> Alright, so we have both uh, two types of uh, engine. We have the uh, the engine coming from ATR72. As we can see, the thrust produced is 3142 kilonewtons of power. Power to weight ratio is 3 by 44 by 1. 100% RPM is 1846 horsepower. The advantage of the engine is it is easier to do maintenance. Well, when we look at the A320 CFM56, uh, <coughs> turbo fan engine the thrust is ranging between 82 to 150 kilonewtons of power which is uh, a lot much uh, compared to the ATR72 uh, turbo prop engine bypass ratio is 5.9 to 6 and it's 100 at 100 rpm it is producing 14,460 horsepower. Uh, reliability approaching 100% along with unrivaled time on wing without removal or servicing. So, uh, lastly, the advantage of uh, this A320 CFM56 engine it is to help significantly reduce operating costs which is uh, quite vital for our uh, type of airline as we search to reduce our costs uh, when it comes to operating costs. All right, next. So, as a recommend to requirement, high profit, we can see that we can carry more passengers. And at a low cost, uh, we can uh, target for low lifetime operating, less fuel consumption, and also low maintenance costs. And our frequency, we search for high demand uh, due to frequency of flying. And so we can, uh, can fly more hours. So that's why we chose AT20. All right, I think that's all. Thank you.